We go to the bottom of the fourth. Tyler Naquin will lead off for New York, and leading off for us is Steve Gill. Well, Gary, I am here with with Mookie Wilson and a bunch. By the way, this is we we went into a suite, and there is a bar mitzvah celebration going on here. So we've been in and out of talking to a lot of a lot of people celebrating. But I'm going to take Mookie's attention for just a second here. Mookie Wilson, always great when you're at the ballpark to talk to you. And you know, we didn't get a chance to catch up with you on Old Timers Day. There were so many people here. What? What did that event mean to you? What, what is the one takeaway you had from that great day? Other than sore muscles. <laughs> have you recovered yet? Should have been the, the it question. Took me a couple of days, but I did right. Uh, you know, that event was, um, it was special. Um, you know, even though you get to see some of the guys from time to time, you don't get to see them in that setting. Now, when we were in our environment, even the guys that I didn't play with, you know, like um, Frank Thomas, I had a beautiful time talking with Frank Thomas. I had a beautiful time talking with Mr. Dillon, the guy I hit the double off of. It had a great time. It, it was just amazing just talking and compared to times that we played. And it seemed like it wasn't that long, that much time between us, the two generations, but it was a long time. And it was just a great, it was just a great event. Was there a, a takeaway that you had from one of those conversations where you recognized, hey, this was very different back in 1962, 1963? I, I think the biggest takeaway from it is that reality set in for most of us. <laughs> I think that was the biggest takeaway. But, you know, it was different just hearing about what the minimum salaries were. I thought mine was bad. I mean, some of the guys, I was like, wow, you guys paid for that? You know, but they literally playing for free, you know, but it, it was just it was just a wonderful time. Playing truly for the love of the game. You know, Mookie, I know you pay a, a close attention to this team, and as, as they get close to clinching the playoffs and hopefully going on a deep October run, what do you make of this group and, and how it's set up to potentially make some noise? Uh, this team has a lot of positives to it. There's a lot of good things that I like. I love their resiliency. I love the way that they bounce back after a tough game. Um, if even a tough series, you know, they seem to put it together. And I, I think that they don't get too high and, and too low. And um, I, I think that they go through a period right now that is very, very necessary. That's good for some tough games. Oh, yeah. They have a team that's right on the heels. And they need that because postseason is what it's all about. And this team has shown that they can survive. You know, Mookie, you are known as one of the greatest Mets of all time, part of maybe the most famous play in the history of this franchise, but soon you may be known for your culinary skills as well because you are starting a catering business yes. with family members. What can you tell everybody about Legacy Catering started by Mookie Wilson and family? Well, Legacy Catering is, um, it was named appropriately um, because our mother, our mother was a great cook and we are doing our cooking um, in her memory. You know, she taught us all how to cook. There were seven brothers in the family. There were seven boys. All of them are really, really good cook. Who's the best cook? I won't go that far yet. But we decided that we wanted to do something and just do something in a, a public setting and to share uh, some real good Southern cooking. And so we decided to go to the care business and we're 100% mobile. We go to the people. The people don't have to come to us. We go to the people and um, we just started and it's been absolutely fabulous. It's been outstanding. Well, Mookie, I won't hold it against you that you didn't bring any food here today, but when you inevitably bring it back for Gary Keith, Ron, and myself, what's the specialty that we can expect? Well, we're hoping to do some events here in the New York area, metropolitan area, and um, it depends. If you're doing barbecue, the pulled pork is awesome. The ribs is fantastic. Sausages, eh, you can give or take a sausage. How much can you do with a sausage? Uh -huh. You can brag about a sausage. <laughs> Hot wings or something. You gotta be, you gotta be a man to handle the hot wings, and those are kind of things. But not to want a nice sit-down meal. Um, we do, um, we do sirloins. We do um, tenderloin, beef tenderloin. We do pork tenderloin. We do smoked turkeys. We do all kinds of crazy stuff. Mac and cheese, and if you love sweets, pineapple cake is outstanding. Banana pudding. Everything from scratch, so it's awesome. Heck of a salesman there, Mookie Wilson. And if you want to get first-hand look at this food, Mets Fantasy Camp in November. Mookie and Legacy Catering will be catering there. And, of course, Mookie will be a part of Fantasy Camp as well. Mook, always great to see you. Hope to see you more here as they go on to a deep run, hopefully. Oh, man, I ain't going anywhere, man. This team is great. I'm going to enjoy it. Next time I see everybody, I hope we can be cooking outside and have some meat. All right. Mookie Wilson, guys, back to you. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Mookie. And to the group behind them, Mazel Tov. Look, I am. <laughs> Today, you are a man. 